This video will instruct you on how to properly apply 3M splittable flying splice tape in flexographic printing. First, to prepare the substrate, fold back the top layer and temporarily secure if necessary. Next, apply tape across the roll, starting and ending a quarter of an inch from the right and left edges. A blade will be needed to cut the tape. Rub down the tape across the width of the roll. Scissors may also be used if desired. You can pre-cut the tape to the desired length before applying to the roll. Apply the splicing tape so that the adhesive covered by the narrow section of liner will be covered by the last lap of the substrate. Since this roll is coming up from the bottom, the narrow section should be on the bottom. To remove the lower liner, start about an inch in from the roll edge and from the center of the tape width, peel the lower liner off using a downward motion. Use a metal tape tool or your fingers to start the removal. Attach substrate to the exposed adhesive. Trim the substrate to remove the excess. To remove the upper liner, start about an inch in from the roll edge. And from the center of the tape width, peel the upper liner off using an upward motion. Another application some printers choose is to apply the tape only to the middle portion of the roll. Start as you did before. But taper the edges of the substrate when you cut to remove the excess. Remove the remaining liner. Congratulations, you're done.